Hey everybody, this is Emmy Sanders, Lead Productivity Coach with Inspired Hygiene. It's April, Oral Cancer Awareness Month. Are you aware that oral cancer is on the rise? Back in 2011, 25,000 patients were diagnosed in the United States with oral cancer. Just last year, 2018, it more than doubled. Oral cancer is on the rise. What we used to believe gave you an elevated risk of oral cancer was your age, over 40, smoking, heavy drinker. We've now added to the list HPV, the human papillomavirus. So, with that said, did you know that men are two times more likely to have an HPV-related cancer? That is shocking. Did you also know that if we catch oral cancer at its earliest stage, stage one or stage two, our patients have an 83% survival rate. So early detection is key. But the alarming, most shocking stat of all is that 70% of oral cancers diagnosed are diagnosed in the third and fourth stage of oral cancer and the fourth stage oral cancer survival rate is only 34 percent 70 percent are found later so with that said what can you and i do differently to help our patients have an oral cancer screening to possibly diagnose this at its earlier stage and we can save more lives well, whether you uh, are doing a clinical exam with the two by two balls and, and rolling the lips and cheeks, or whether you're using a fluorescence device, either one, I would encourage you to consider doing both immediately. If you want some more help or guidance on the clinical exam, you could go to sixstepscreening.org it's a super easy six steps to do a really thorough oral cancer screening for your patients. If you want to use a fluorescence device like, like this fluorescence device, you just shine the light and save lives. So, action item. One, get really calibrated with your team. Make sure everyone knows the risk of oral cancer and that get clear on what type of uh, oral cancer screening you and your team would like to do. Another thing that you could do is let your community know that you're doing oral cancer screenings. There's a really wonderful organization called Oral Cancer Calls. It's oralcancercalls.org. It was for, founded by Robin Morrison and Linda Miles. They both lost family members to oral cancer and created this foundation. I love it. They've got an amazing marketing campaign so that you can let your community know that you guys are doing oral cancer screenings and maybe you could blow a bubble for someone who can't. If you don't know about the Bubblegum Challenge, reach out to us here at Inspired Hygiene. Also, we would be honored to help you and your team get really clear on how you want to do an oral cancer screening and what you need to do to get that ball started. Thanks so much. It's an honor to spend April with you.